See if you can guess the skyline over there. I'll give you a few seconds. It's the Boston Airport. Uh, we're still in North End. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all my US subscribers and Canadians. Anyone that celebrates it. I actually did a wee Google and turns out there are quite a few places in the world that observe it. So yeah, seems like an awesome holiday. Um, of course, I'm doubling down for Christmas this year. My favourite holiday just behind Halloween. Uh, sometimes the two are pretty close. Uh, but just east of the Old North Church is where we're having a wee look. North of the Custom House Tower. That'll be one of the final sections that we'll be looking at. Uh, but today's location is featuring this skeleton sitting on a patio chair. Seems they were down by just the side of the riverbank here having a, a swell time before the bombs fell. Uh, over here possibly her husband was... Uh, you know, ha also having a drink, enjoying himself, maybe about to ship off. And she was seeing him away, would have been about 8 in the morning, looking out, 8 or 9 in the morning. I can't remember exactly when the bombs fell, but uh, more or less around that time. Uh, so you would have seen the fisherman leaving the little marina here. And uh, possibly that was a relative, maybe a husband, uh, perhaps. Now, going over to the marina here, we can uh, jump into the back. And I always like to explore the fishing ships. Despite the fact that it's a 50-50 chance on whether there is any items to speak of. Um, sometimes I've found sniper rifles and weapons. Uh, other times we've found supplies, skeletons. And sometimes just nothing. Oh, Teddy has decided to go elsewhere. He is my little cockapoo dog. In case anyone was wondering. He got groomed recently so he is currently a big ball of fluff. The ashtray. And a beer bottle. Yeah, it seems to be that uh, fishing requires a lot of alcohol as far as the uh, the Fallout universe has shown. Okay, I can't see too much in the water, so I think the best way to fix that is to just throw the time. I could throw a weather command then, but I'm lazy, so uh, there we go. Uh, there is a mod that can completely remove the water. And for anyone watching, I will be doing some videos on mods. It's something that I personally never really touched, and it's a bit of a shame. Because, well, the, the base game is just a massive amount, so uh, I can't wait to get into it. Also, previewing a future location we'll be looking at. This guy hanging over the fire. Another neat wee thing you can come across and uh, yeah be sure to always check every robo i wonder if i did a playthrough where i could only loot from rowboats and fishing boats i wonder what items you could get i wonder would that include some of the ones you know with the cage underneath uh that you can loot i wonder would it include that theorizing certain runs is uh, pretty awesome also whilst i'm here see those two cooling towers way north there's actually a flamer that you can pick up in the middle. Now, there's some blood bugs that you have to kill, um, but those cooling vats were done many, many months ago. They were episode, ooh, about three, three or four hundred. Um, don't quote me on that. They may have been a, uh, they may have been sooner or later, uh, but they were quite a while ago. Uh, yeah, would have got quite a number of, l what's a life preserver breakdown to? That's something I cannot recall. Misc, life preserver. Can't spell. L. Oh, being junk. Of course it would be in junk. Life preserver. What do you break down to? Three plastic and a spring. Value of six, weight of three. Not exactly the most fantastic thing in the world, but it's still something. And of course, up top, that one. Yep, the one with the uh, the parasail at the top is the rooftop lounger. And uh, we have also Paul Revere's house and a wee super mutant camp. I'll be talking a wee bit more about that camp in a separate video, possibly next. In fact, no, it, it is next. It is next. So yes, uh, the camp is coming very soon. And that pretty much covers, you know, this little area. It was supposed to just be her having a wee look out towards her husband. Um, you can interact to sit in the chair, but you just, like, you just get stuck. Oh, oh yeah, I'm using an Xbox remote. In case anyone didn't know, I uh, I play with an Xbox remote. I came from a, con a console many moons ago and never really made a transition into keyboard and mouse for Fallout and Skyrim. So I'm, I am I still use a, a wireless, you know, preference. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on everything we've covered today. Uh, thank you so much to all the channel members. We are up to nearly 10 now, which is pretty awesome. It shows we banner now on the homepage, so I uh, appreciate everyone, um, all the supporters and members of the channel. So, uh, yeah, that's just brilliant. Anyways, I will catch you over at the Super Mutant Camp as I do a wee bit of parkour about here. 
Uh, see you over there. Thank you for watching.